Ooh-wee! Right, we're heading closer towards the second dungeon now. Hey there guys, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Right, so in the last episode we was making our way up to the mountain. We actually made ourselves all the way up to the top, as you can see. We're at the very summit of the mountain here, and we got to try and get across this chasm, which is just above the second dungeon. So what we're going to have to do is here, or what we're going to have to do here is uh, grab this mushroom and fling ourselves across. Not like we've done this a million times before or anything, but yeah. <laughs> right, no, don't go in the hole. You want to go into the Minish Portal. That's not a Minish Portal. The Minish Portal is here, not over there. Alright, so now that we're Minish, we're going to be going into an area that is kind of weird, because as you can see that it's raining, and the raindrops are like gigantic balls of death, basically. You want to try and avoid those. And they're actually quite easy to avoid. You don't... well, okay then. <laughs> Uh, don't go saying that, otherwise you're going to end up jinxing yourself like you have done in other videos. Especially my DKC2 videos, like I jinx myself like crazy <laughs> by saying, oh, this level seems easy, and then it turns out to totally kick my ass, but there you go. Right, now this, basi this basically right here is a very long, actually, a very long um, boulder-moving puzzle, and it's kind of... <laughs> This one gave me a lot of troubles, but in actuality, it's not really that difficult. All you got to do is just push it over here, but don't push it like down right away. You have to push it like in the middle here, and then push it down again, so you have enough room to actually push it to the uh, push it to the left here. Oh wait, hang on a second. I haven't pushed this boulder in yet. <laughs> don't want to go making that mistake because if you push that boulder right next to that boulder before pushing it into the hole there'll be no way you could push the uh, boulder into the hole so you could get this boulder to the other side. <laughs> so make sure you actually push that boulder into the hole first <laughs> before doing this. Right, so can I get round here or what? Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah. Just jump on the Minish Portal and you'll be fine. <laughs> right, so now we're going to be going into another series of caves here up ahead. And this is the cave, one of the caves that I was talking about where the puzzles are like really hard to do. So we're going to get our uh, Gus Jar out here because that's what we'll be needing to get rid of these guys. These angry bird, masked devil things. <laughs> okay, alright. Come here. Come hither. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's this block puzzle here that's really kind of difficult to do, because uh, there are some blocks that can kind of confuse you on which way you have to push and beat. What you have to do here, you have to go from one side to the other, and you'll see how it works out. So, uh, I think it's this one you push first. Uh, no, it would be that one then. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. I don't know if I've done this wrong already, because this puzzle can really get kind of confusing. No, I haven't done it wrong, I've done it right. <laughs> That's good. So then you just push this one down here, then you push this one down, then you push that one that way. There you go! See? Uh, that one can get kind of tricky, but <laughs> once you know it, it's not too bad. And I think this is actually the last cave we'll be going into, so... Um, before we get to the uh, Minish... Um, the town of the Minish in Mount Krenel. And I th yeah, there are a bunch of pots over there, so you can suck these up. Yeah, shoot those. So how are you guys all doing? I'm doing good. Uh, not really been up to much recently. Um, I've been playing Mario 64 on my Nintendo 64. Um, almost at 120 stars now. I have 100 and 112. I'm about to die here. See, look, it was good that I actually brought a fairy along with me because I'm so close to death right now and I haven't came across any hearts in this episode. At least I don't think so because <laughs> I wouldn't be this low on health if there wasn't any hearts. <laughs> Alright, okay. Uh, now what you got to do here... Right, this is probably where I'm going to end up killing myself because what you got to do, you have to pick up the bomb and then throw it across. Okay, no, I didn't kill myself, but... I mean, if I said that I was gonna, if I said that I wasn't gonna kill myself, I probably would have ended up killing myself. Okay, I, I think that I hate these choo choos though, because they go down and then they come up again. They like melt, basically, go into like a puddle and then they come back out again, like a surprise attack, <laughs> and then they get you. 
Oh no, it isn't the last cave. Okay, there's obviously another cave up ahead, but I don't think this one's that long anyway. Yeah, I think this is. Yeah, this one's definitely. Ha this one definitely has to be the last cave. All right, and this is also another one of those awkward block puzzle, or one one of those awkward boulder pushing puzzles. Yeah, you'll be getting a lot of these uh, throughout the throughout the journey to this village. I'll tell you that now, but I think this is the last one anyway. So. Don't worry about it, it's not really that much of a big deal, because I know how to do this. I remember everything, kind of. <laughs> right, I think that's a kinstone piece in there, but I'm going to get it anyway, because I don't really want to pass up on a kinstone piece. Because <laughs> they're just as important, they're just as important as heart containers, really. Especially if they're a blue one, holy crap. Yeah, <laughs> have some of that shit. I actually don't have any green ones, I don't think, which is surprising, really, because green ones are the most common ones you can find. Let me see if I actually do have any. I don't, I don't think I've picked up any. No, I haven't. <laughs> well, I got uh, one type of red and two type of blue, and two of each. <laughs> so, we're kind of doing okay on kinstone pieces, but m like I say, most people require the green one and the green kinstone pieces. But we haven't really been getting much of those, have we? Ah, I really need some health. Why isn't any enemy in this game giving me any health? Not even the pots gave me health. I don't... Oh, well, there we go. Huh. <laughs> Finally, we actually found ourselves a heart. And an enemy dropped it, too. So now we're in the mines. Mellory is mine. Yeah, it is Mellory, actually. <laughs> yeah, because I was wondering what the uh, Elder was called in the last episode. Ting along, ting along, don't dig along for iron. Uh, so now we're going back to Minecraft, are we, or something? <laughs> ting along, tong along. Dig down, dig around, dig the ground for iron. Well, these guys are obsessed with iron. Like, I don't really know that much about Minecraft. I, I'm, I'm really crap at it. I actually played it, and I didn't understand what the hell you had to do in it. Like, it's one of those really comp... Well, for, like, a beginner like me, I, I'm a noob at that game. I, I don't even know how to build... It. Well, I do know how to build a, a crafting table, but, like, there are some things that I don't know how to build. I don't even I don't even know how to build a basic minecart. Like, that's how, that's how bad I am at that game. This mine belongs to Mellory and us, his seven apprentices. Did you ting along, tong along, all this way, all this long way to get your sword repaired? The boss is down on the lowest level. But it's not really my type of game anyway. Minecraft. Uh, I don't know. I do like being creative and like being spontaneous and showing off creativity. But I don't know. It's just that game's really confusing in what you have to do in it. Like. You have to find certain items to build certain things. Um, but there was a hack you could get for it, where you could get every single uh, item. Like you could just, you could just have, you could just spawn minecarts. You could spawn whatever you wanted. Um, let's say, for example, uh, a brick, a brick block. You could summon a brick block and use as many brick blocks as you wanted to build a house. You know, it was. Like, I used to use that hack to play Minecraft because I didn't know how to build it myself or create it myself. If you head in, if you head outside from here, you can go see the mine. The humans dug, but the boss doesn't let anyone go in there without permission. Uh, I'm sure he'll let me in because uh, we have the broken pickery sword, which needs uh, fusing or re... re no, not fusing, reforging. <laughs> Green clothes and an odd hat. So might you be young Elvis? I am Mallory Master Smith. I hear you want me to fuse, reforge the sacred sword and br help break a curse. It'll be needing. I'll be needing the old sword which holds the power of the elements. First, show me that broken pickery blade. I love all this adventure. What with the rescuing of Princess El of Princess and such, I'd be happy to reforge this thing into a brand new sacred blade for you. Well, here you go. It looks like the master sword, actually. <laughs> It'll take me a while to rework your sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements. 
One of them should be in the mine. The humans dug. It's not far from here. All right, let's get started. All right, so now they're going to be reforging the sword for us. They'll be a while, Elvis. Let's leave them to it and find that element. Yeah, let's go crack down and get that element so then we can do something with that element. Well, actually, we haven't discovered the purpose of the elements or what we have to do with them yet. What, you're going to the mine? If you've talked to the boss, I won't stop you, but be careful. We only know the purpose of the elements. We don't know actually how to use them or make any use of them. So It's like we know what the purpose is of them, but we don't know what to do with them. <clears throat> Holder of the secret, sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Hey, that stone obelisk crumbled and there's another of those marks. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. Yeah, well, we'll find out soon enough about those uh, markings. <laughs> Cave of Flames. Right, so this is the second dungeon of the game. Wow, it's hot in here. Come on, let's not stand around and wait, wasting time. Find that element so we can get out of here. Right, considering this is a dungeon and all, and like I'm pretty much like about 10 minutes into the video now, I'm not going to go ahead and start the dungeon up now, because if I did I wouldn't get that much done anyway, and I like to start a dungeon off in like a brand new episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, we start the second dungeon in the Cave of Flames. So until then, this is NDM, so thanks for watching, take everybody, see you in my next video, and goodbye.